Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on some very practical yoga to help us more easily get into and out of vehicles. When we're young, we're able to do all kinds of activities and movements and everything feels relatively easy. But as we get older, we need to continue working on our flexibility and our strength so that we can continue doing all of the activities that we need and want to do. So in the case of getting into and out of vehicles, the things we need to work on are flexibility in the hips and also strength. We need strength to be able to lift the leg up enough. We also need strength so that we can balance on one foot while we're lifting the other leg into the vehicle. And we're gonna work on all of these things in today's yoga practice. For this yoga practice, you'll need a chair to sit on and then something sturdy that's around this tall. You could use maybe a stack of books or perhaps a step stool. Go ahead and grab your chair and then your thing that's about this tall and we'll get started. Begin in a comfortable standing position and the first thing we're gonna work on is a movement to start activating the muscles in the lower body. I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can see the alignment. Set your feet up about hip width apart, whatever's comfortable for you. Stand up tall. Inhale here. And then with an exhale, bend your knees a little bit and bend at your hip. And in fact, send your hips a little bit back. And then inhale, come up. Keep going, exhale, bend the knees, bend at the hip, hips go back. Inhale, up, exhale, make sure your torso is still lifted. Inhale, up, exhale, inhale, up. We're doing two more, exhale, inhale, exhale and inhale. Take a break here, you can shake your legs out, and we're gonna continue working on strengthening and mobility for the lower body. For this first movement, we're going to be doing a bit of balancing, so please feel free to hold on to something, the wall, a piece of furniture, whatever you'd like, if you need a little bit of extra support for your balance. All right, shift your weight onto your left foot, Find your balance, strengthen this leg, engage your abdominal muscles as well. And then we're gonna start some movement with the right leg. So bring the leg in front and down, in front, down, front, down. Last one, front and down. All right, good. Stand on both feet, shake your legs out. Let's continue on the other side. So shift onto your right, find your balance, strengthen this leg. Remember, you can hold on to something if you want. Keep the standing leg strong throughout the whole sequence, and then bring your left forward and down, forward, down, forward, down. Still strong, last one, forward, down. Okay, take a break again, shake your legs out. And now we're gonna work on a similar movement, but a little bit different. And for this one, if you're holding on to something, I would suggest holding on to something in front of you. All right, here we go. Shift onto your left leg. Find your strength and your balance. And then extend the right leg out toward the side, however far works for you. Here's the second. Third, standing leg still strong. Four, let's do two more. Five and six. Okay, take a break, shake your legs out, and then shift onto your right. Find your strength and balance. And then here we go. One, lift to the side. Two, three, four five, six. Excellent. Take a break again, shake your legs out, and then let's change gears a little bit. So I'm going to turn to the side again so that you can see. 
Step your left foot forward, keep your right one back. When you do this, please make sure that you're not standing with one foot right behind the other because that makes it really hard to balance. So have a wide stance, not too long, just a little bit long, and let your hips face toward the front. Okay, once you have your feet in the right position, you feel comfortable and stable, strengthen your leg muscles. Engage your abdominal muscles as well. Be careful not to lock your knees, so keep them just a little bit bent. And then we're gonna do a movement of bending the front knee. So let's go ahead and try it. Bend the front knee just a little bit. Keep the back leg very strong and straighten. That's it. Bend the front knee, straighten. Keep the back leg strong. Front knee bends and straightens. One more, bend and straighten. All right, step your left foot back. Take a little break. You might wonder, what are we doing here? What is the purpose of this? Let me tell you. Go ahead and step your right forward and we'll continue on this side. So the stance, again, a little bit wide, not too long, hips are facing front, strengthen your legs. So we're working on two different things here. One is strengthening the legs. And the other is that if you have any tightness in the front of the hip of the back leg, so in this case, the right's forward, the left is back. If you have any tightness in the front of the left hip, when you bend the knee, you may find some stretching happening in that muscle in the front of the left hip. That's what we're working on. Okay, so keep your leg muscles strong, abs are strong too, and then bend the front knee, straighten. Bend, back leg stays strong, straighten, bend, just a little bit of bend, and straighten. Here's the last one, bend, straighten. Okay, step this foot back, take a little break from that, and then let us work on some strengthening again in a little bit of a different way. This is a little bit more challenging. If you see what we're gonna be working on here and you say, mm, that's not for me, not for me to do today, you can repeat one of the previous balancing sequences that we worked on. All right, here's the next one. Shift onto your left leg again, find your balance, strengthen the leg and your abs, and now bend the right knee and bring it up in front of you, however high is reasonable for you and then bring it back down to the side. Here we go again. Bring it up slowly and down. Bring it up slowly, down. Bring it up slowly, down. Okay, great. Shake your legs out and let us work on the other side. So shift onto your right. You find your balance and your strength. Here we go, remember you can hold on to something. And then bring the left knee forward and down. Forward, down a little bit, out toward the side. Forward, down, forward, and down. Okay, take a break again. Shake your legs out. Let's stretch out in the hips again, but we're gonna add a little more intensity if it's comfortable for you. So have your left foot forward, your right is back, same as you did before, but this time, if you're comfortable adding intensity, this is what you can do. When you bend the front knee, you're keeping your abs engaged, do a little bit of, mm, technically it's called a back bend, but really what we're doing is just lengthening the front of the body Keep the back leg strong. We're looking for potential stretching happening in the front of the hip. And then you'll exhale, relax your torso. Inhale, leg is strong, lift your torso. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Here's the last one. Bend the front knee, lift your chest, and straighten, wonderful. Step this foot back, shake your legs out, and then step the right forward. We wanna make sure when you're doing this that you're not having discomfort in your low back. If you are, a couple of things, double check, make sure that you're engaging your abs well, and if you continue to have the discomfort in your low back, then 
do not add this back bend. Just keep your spine straight and still, and that is enough. All right, here we go on the second side. So bend the front knee, both legs are strong, abs are engaged, maybe lift the chest and straighten the leg. Bend, lift the chest, straighten. The breathing is inhale, bend the knee, lift the chest, exhale, straighten. Last one, inhale, bend the knee, lift the chest and straighten wonderful step this foot back shake your legs out and then let us do one more round of that last balancing sequence that we worked on so stand on your left find your balance with practice over time like over weeks or months what you'll find is that you become more stable stronger in your standing leg and range of motion will increase in the leg that's coming up in front of you. So you can kind of check in on yourself from time to time and see, is it possible to bring my knee higher than I did last week or in the last time that I practiced? Okay, here we go. So strong standing leg, find your balance, engage your abs, hold on to something if you want, and then bring your knee up in front, however high is reasonable for you. Set the foot down. Bring the knee up, let it down. Here's round three, keep your standing leg strong. And number four, and then you can take a break. Shift over onto your right, find your balance, hold on to something if you'd like. Remember to keep your abs strong. Here we go, left knee comes in front to whatever height works for you, and down. Left knee up down, the knee comes up, down, last one, up, and down. Wonderful. Shake your legs out. Let us do one more standing posture, which is a forward fold. So I'm going to turn to the side again so that you can see what the posture looks like. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and then exhale, bend your knees like we did at the beginning, and you can bend at your hip. Fold forward however much is comfortable for you. You can rest your hands on your legs or on your chair. And then inhale, walk your way back up. Again, exhale, fold as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. You may feel some stretching happening in the backs of your legs. Inhale. Two more, exhale, fold, inhale, up, exhale, fold, inhale, come on up. Very good. Now please move to sitting on your chair. As you start to set up your sitting position, sit forward on your chair so that you're not leaning on the back of it. And also, see if you're comfortable walking your feet forward a little bit so that your ankle is under your knee. Knees can be a little bit wide so that you feel comfortable and stable. And now we're gonna work on trying to stretch out a little bit in the hips so that we have better mobility. We've got lots of options for how we can do this. Essentially, what we want to do is bring one knee out toward the side to start stretching out in the hip you might feel stretching in the outer hip or in the inner hip. One way that you can do this is to just bring your knee out toward the side and you're resting the side of the foot down on the floor. So if this feels like plenty of challenge for you, you can do this and work on sitting up tall and breathing slowly, smoothly through your nose um, while this hip just has a little bit of time to start relaxing and stretching out. Another way you can do this if you want, a little bit more challenge is you can use a small stack of something. It could be yoga blocks, it could be books, uh, a step stool, anything like that. You can place the side of your foot onto that and bring the knee out toward the side. And then again, sit up tall, focus on breathing smoothly in and out through your nose. And then if this version feels easy for you, if you want more challenge, you could bring this foot up onto the opposite knee. 
Sometimes when we do this, we realize, oh wow, that's really tight. If that's the case for you, it is perfectly fine to round your back a bit or even lean back in your chair so that you're getting a gentle kind of stretching happening in this hip. But if these options happen to feel easy for you and you want more challenge, sit up tall and that's gonna give you a little bit more intensity of stretching. All right, so you've got lots of options, but the main idea is we're looking for some gentle stretching in the hip. Could be, like I mentioned, in the outer hip or it could be in the groin. Could even be kind of in the back. See what you find happening in your body. And then, whenever you've had enough stretching on the one side, switch over and work on the other side. And please keep in mind that the two sides of the body may behave totally differently. So maybe on the first side, you were comfortable bringing your foot up on top of the knee, but maybe on the second side, you need something a little gentler. So just take a moment to figure out what is the appropriate stretching on the other side. You can try out all the options and then settle on the one that feels like the right fit for you. Remember to breathe smoothly in and out through your nose. I know I keep saying that over and over, but the breathing is really important, um, especially focusing on long exhales helps to create more relaxation in your nervous system and in your muscles. And it can actually help your muscles stretch out a little bit if you are calm and relaxed. Okay, whenever you're finished stretching out this hip, go ahead and set your foot down. If you've used any sort of props, you can move them out of the way so that you can sit comfortably. Align your ankles under your knees like you did before, sit up tall. Then inhale, lengthen up even a little taller. Exhale, round forward, like a forward fold. You may feel stretching happening in your low back. Then inhale and come up. Again, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up. Exhale fold and then inhale and come up exhale stay right here you can wiggle your body around a little bit to relax your muscles very good work i hope that you found this yoga practice helpful and also comfortable in order to improve the flexibility and strength in your lower body i recommend that you do this yoga practice consistently every day if you possibly can and if you can't do every day, that is okay. Do what you can. A little bit of yoga practice is always better than no yoga practice. Thank you very much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my work by clicking the like button and also by subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions about this yoga practice, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you next time.